also new this morning, a film is hoping to highlight the missing and murdered indigenous people's crisis here in California. The movie is based on the true stories and interviews of people affected by this nationwide issue. ABC 10's Marcus Allen, who knows a thing or two about the movie business. Uh, you've been watching this production very closely, right, Mark? Yeah, well, from the beginning, and I love that you said it's based on true stories because, in fact, this movie is only a movie because of its predecessor, a documentary about the same subject. Uh, it is saving lives by shining light on things that not only indigenous people, but all people need to know. Take a look. Now, are you sure she didn't just run away? No, my daughter did not run away. People this is this Gift of Fear on Native Ground, a feature film inspired by a documentary no addressing the issue of murdered and missing indigenous women. Happy customers pay more. Created by an entirely indigenous people team, written by Jack Kohler and his daughter, Carly Kohler, executive produced by Dr. April Lee Goforth of the Shingle Springs Band of Miwoks, shot entirely in Placer County, including Roseville, Lincoln, and Auburn. The movie has received global praise throughout film festivals. I caught up with them in Roseville to talk about it. You'll see a story that you've probably not really seen before. This movie is important to me, not only for the entertainment factor and the learning and the expressions and the appreciation of the work that went into it and culture, but for the feeling that you saw something important. The movie both highlights the strength of indigenous people, but at the same time, it exposes this sad thing that's taking place in the community. So we're native people. We know what trauma looks like and we can talk about it, but we can also, we have, got, we have a lot of humor. So we know how to show, show the trauma and then have some humor at the end. So I think we really tried to weave that in throughout the, throughout the film. There's like moments of humor and um, playfulness, and then there's some very serious, hard topics that we're talking about. Yeah, hard topics, it is intense. And like Carly said, it crosses all the gamuts. The movie is incredibly entertaining, but you'll walk away enlightened. I didn't realize that indigenous women are 10 times more likely to be murdered. I did not know that stat until I saw that movie. They say sometimes a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. This movie is that spoonful of sugar. It's entertaining, enlightening. You need to see it. I'll link information about how you can see it to my Facebook page. It's Mark S. Allen Show. By the way, the dojo featured in some of those clips I showed right behind me here in Lincoln. Back to you. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned Placer and El Dorado County. So many movies are, are filmed there, Mark, and it's an important message. And like you said, if you can make it somewhat entertaining, more people will watch it and the message will spread. So thank you for doing that. Mark S. Allen exactly. in Placer County.